So here's the rear of the finished product. We used carabiners for hinges. The cabinet knobs on top are purely functional. They secure the fixture to the underside of the lid. Uh, I've got it plugged into a smart power strip right now with an on-off switch, uh, primarily to prevent accidental um, activation. Uh, this can be controlled by Wi-Fi or smart things. The box has to be opened by these little tabs on the side. And there's the top lamp and secured by those screws holding the cabinet knobs um, for security. The acrylic was really hard to cut. I cut it with a jigsaw. It kept, um, I couldn't run the jigsaw slow enough to keep it from heating up the acrylic to the point where it would weld it back together as soon as I cut through it. And so I went through, and that was after multiple passes. So eventually I ended up cutting it with a Dremel cutting wheel. Uh, I used two by fours, wrapped two by fours uh, blocks for support of the acrylic. There's the underside lamp. I ended up securing it just with some hot glue. And um, I don't know how good the video will be of the unit working, but we'll try and turn it on. So it's on now. The camera's pointed up towards the top. Turn it off. I'll turn the camera over. Just Primarily because I'd like to see these are a different bulb on the bottom there um, Mercury in the Bulb appears to be a lot better quality with the filament being wrapped uh, Protected so That bottom lamp should be on now And the phone should be sterile about 30 seconds to sterilize the phone. We're going to be using this for Danette's um, work stuff, anything that comes in or out of the house, mail, shoes, purse, keys, phone, anything like that. Uh, masks, the N95 masks will be sanitized using this so we can get longer use out of them. Uh, that's it.